The pandemic is putting a lot of pressure on all of us. It's, it's something that's worthwhile to, to fight, uh, certainly with, with all the efforts, with all the power we have. One of our senior executives in our general management team of healthcare received a phone call from a very senior member of BioNTech asking us if we could help. That call came in on a Thursday evening. On Friday evening, uh, I was notified we had our general management team at healthcare pulled together within 24 hours, evaluated over the weekend whether we could do this. On Monday, we notified BioNTech that we absolutely believed that we could do it, that we would give them a formal answer within the week. And by that Friday, we informed them that we can absolutely meet their needs. For active pharmaceutical ingredients, we are one of the leading suppliers. So we could use, apply our core competencies here to supply these lipids in a very short time. And the lipids are basically protecting this mRNA, but also are used as a transportation mean into the human body, into the human cell. In this particular case, in the case of the BioNTech project, it's not only about having the competencies, it's also about bringing the competencies together, combining the competencies. And in the case of the BioNTech project, we brought together a project team of over 100 people within basically days. In addition to our healthcare engineering department, we had people uh, coming from our technical service department from process and technology and even from uh, the Evonik engineering department. So it required a lot of working in parallel and a lot of coordination between the different teams. For the whole team, the process changed from the evaluation to the point of the the first batch, so it means uh, we needed um, to install new equipment, to qualify it in such a short uh, time. This was uh, a huge technical uh, challenge. In general, at least three months before we start with the production, we start with our process development. Here it was different. We only had uh, six weeks, or better to say we had four weeks, yeah, because uh, two weeks prior to the campaign, the process had to be fixed. The biggest challenge was uh, the timeline, because we were at the end of the process and uh, had very little time and a very little amount of product to make developments. For a particle uh, system, it's really challenging to make process development in gram scale. And uh, you have an amount of product which is nearly valid about 1 million euros. So the pressure was really high. I never in my work life experienced such a motivated and um, fast acting team. The teamwork was, from my opinion, incredible. It was tremendously to see these extra effort people are putting day by day because they, they understand they are not even contributing to Evonics, they're contributing to society. And this was really excellent to see the agile organization. We had a lot of challenges and hurdles because doing something in parallel is, is, is a risk. Yeah? So we didn't know what to do. We had to connect people and communication was crucial here. But uh, it was nice to see that everybody was really going the extra mile. What we learned from it is that we really can push our limits and uh, that we can strongly improve our performance by working hand in hand with all of the other colleagues here at Evonik in different departments and different units. I'm very proud to be involved in this project. You can contribute to, to solve the human crisis and hopefully to improve or enhance um, the quality of life of uh, millions of people. For me, this is a great reminder of what we do is important and matters. And it's those type of projects at work which really put the value on how you perform in a job and what value you bring to society. And in this case, this is one that I will talk to my grandchildren about. Ivonic, leading beyond chemistry.